I'm, an, I'm doing a running course right now, so most times I'm on the bridge, very early running for about an hour or two hours, depending on what I'm doing for the day. So depending on what I'm doing, um, that's what really fills my day. Sometimes I have, uh, I'm chilling with a uh, big super celebrity, singer, actor, which is always fun. Most times I, I'm back home, if I'm not shooting all night, six, seven, you know, so I can bond with this little kid and my wife, because uh, these guys mean a lot to me. Alright, it's 8.19 in the morning and I already have two activities locked down. Now I just published a new video on YouTube for you guys to watch. Check it out. It's um it's called Why You Should Never Follow a Woman Shopping. Um, I did it with 20 times. So right now I need to take a nap for like an hour so I can really get a bit of image. So you guys uh, stick around. Don't go anywhere. People don't know this, but I'm shaking because I'm scared how people are going to perceive the content. But luckily for me, people have really jumped on my content and they've embraced it. That alone is so encouraging. When people embrace your content, only even if you're not making money, it helps you to create more content. Basically, um, we're shooting a scene right here and it's an action sequence type. That's a torture scene, so you're going to see a couple of uh, screams. If you like screams and torture, I know some of you like torture. It's bad children. Anyway, you get to see some of these things right here today. So, I don't want to tell you too much, but you know, come along and enjoy the hard work. So, a few days ago, I was chilling with my friend and he said something about what would scare him the most if he was being tortured. I was like, wow, that's a funny one. So I took that and then exaggerated it, created a bit of story, exaggerated it a bit, and I called on my super, super friend, producer, actor, singer, Ben Thomas. Ben, fashionable Thomas, Badu. You know, because I trust that I can deliver that. Uh, I mean, most times I just try to relate to regular things that happen in life. Like, I mean, if I'm rolling with my friend and his girlfriend and she says something that I think can be funny, I quickly pen it down, write it down. Um, sometimes I put two or three different scenarios together to make one funny situation. But the biggest inspiration I have for my skits is my wife. She is a clown. Born. Two, you know, she really encourages me to create more funny videos. And his mother says he has devilish wisdom, <laughs> but he's super intelligent, like he has quick fixes to things. I started making videos in 2013, and from the first few videos that I put out on social media, because I wasn't able to put it out on TV, I couldn't afford what the cost of TV guys are asking me. But social media doesn't. Just say, oh, you have a great idea, come and share it here. If people like what you do, they'll follow you, you know? And um, you don't have to beg them. So social media has affected me in a positive way. Yo, know, to my fans, look, I'm not, I hate to sound like an agony or cold. I don't know says, oh, do this, do that. It, it sucks. All I can say is be yourself, you know? And if you're true to yourself, people that care about you or like what you do would gravitate towards you and you can make something out.